Hello and welcome to another video on where I show you one thing you still need to know about the Lichtheim Audio Altar. Disclaimer, this is not the greatest puddle in the world. This is just some kind of tribute implemented. The Altar by Lichlam Audio is actually a well, kind of fast pedal, but it does have some chainsaw capabilities that I found out in the initial review I did out of this pedal. So be sure to check this out as well. Today we're focusing purely on the chainsaw capabilities, as mentioned before. So we start directly with the EQ comparison with the original Boss HM2 made in Japan. Everything max, distortion at zero. Here is the curve, and now we try to replicate it with the Altar. First of all, let's put everything where it might be. <laughs> Just those controls, no boost here. And that. So you can see that the mid is into the chainsaw territory here. Uh, it's not as pronounced, the two high peaks, but we do have a rather broad peak. We can add some base here, but it won't do us any good as won't the highs. So back to basic. Now we enable the boost and then the boost itself and this grind will get activated. So boosts just another gain stage and now grind at the typical HM2 curve. Let's compensate the level. And now you can see it's way more accurate seems a bit higher, the, at least the high peak around the 1.5k. With the mid, we can increase it even more. The base, it's way broader. But all in all, comp, don't really need compression depth. We don't need this. So this seems more accurate, except the low peak, but let's actually find out in the audio comparison. Thank you. 
So, first of all, we have to differentiate between how we set up the altar. Because we can dial in some chains of frequencies by simply cranking the mid, and we can basically leave the mid at noon and dial in the especially designed grind EQ curve that's built after the HM2 and way more accurate. So, uh, all in all, this pedal has a hugely nice sound to it. It just works. For me, I think it just, um, how do I put it in words? I think it delivers a chainsaw sound, but it's unique. It's not the HM2 sound, and I don't think the Alta wants to be an HM2. Uh, they're too different. It almost reminds me as the uh, perfect complementary tone for the HM2. So if you have a main classic chainsaw sound and you want another disgusting sound that goes in the same direction but isn't a typical chainsaw you can blend this in uh, we don't have a blend control but you could actually run it in the fx loop of the licht medusa for instance or the king in yellow or whatever um so you have to be careful though, because when you uh, crank the knobs, you can easily run into heavy oversaturated sounds that are not pleasing to my ear, but might uh, be very enjoyable for all you doom uh, enthusiasts. So I think I will use this fast pedal. This is still a fast pedal uh, lots of times in the future because as I think it's the perfect complementary tone and I always record a classical chainsaw and a complementary tone and I can see myself use this. Maybe follow-up videos are coming, don't know. Uh, what I do know is that I want to know what you think about the Altar as a HM2. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description and you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. And with that being said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the power protect you and have a nice day.